Tonight, from the heart of Chicago's theater district, at Broadway in Chicago's Cadillac Palace Theater, the biggest names in sports and Olympic history are arriving to honor the U.S. Olympic Hall of Fame Class of 2004 with tonight's inductees, Janet Evans, Florence Griffith Joyner, Randy Snow, Jackie joyner Kersey, the 1996 U.S. Women's Soccer Team, Matt Biondi, Dan Jansen, Alice Coachman, Bud Greenspan, and Bonnie Blair, with special appearances by Bob Beeman, Bart Connor, Mike Garuzioni, Dick Fosbury, Dorothy Hamill, Bruce Jenner, Bob Mathias, Debbie Meyer, John Neighbor, Jack O'Callaghan, Jonathan Silverman, and Peter Vidmar. At 16, he was a nationally ranked junior tennis player, until one day, an accident left him paralyzed from the waist down. Once he began accepting his new life, he let nothing stop him from pursuing his dreams. He became the only athlete in history to compete in three different Summer Paralympic Games in three different sports and proceeded to win medals in each, in track, in basketball, and tennis. A remarkable feat accomplished by his three powerful principles, attitude, accountability, and action. He is, in summary, an inspiration at the highest level. Devastated by a farming accident which left him without the use of his legs at age 16, the young man had to suddenly switch gears. Randy Snow is not defined by his disability. Randy Snow is defined by his ability to overcome challenges and to master the rules and the training of his select sport. As a baby, he was standing up at five months and walking about nine months, and then he never slowed down. He was competitive always, but I would say more so after the injury. So, I mean, I grew up in a sports family, loved it. I don't think I was a real competitor, but then when I broke my back, uh, I had to go through this process. After the injury, uh, for a while, it, it was very difficult for him, but someone encouraged him to play tennis. When I was presented with the, the concept of wheelchair sports, you know, I said, dude, I don't do wheelchair sports. I think I just let my denial down a little bit and, and, and allowed the sport in. That's when I became a competitor. I no longer loved sport. I wanted to win. Para Olympic gold medalist from the United States of America, Randy Snow. I loved how it made me feel, whether I won or whether I lost. I like the idea of setting a goal, pursuing that goal, and then dealing with the results. You know, the I want to be like Mike. Everybody in wheelchair sports wants to be like Randy Snow. My whole message is paralysis has nothing to do with the spinal cord. It's our minds. In order to be successful, it takes a 100% able-bodied mind. Ladies and gentlemen, the U.S. Olympic Hall of Fame class of 2004 inductee, Randy Snow. You know, the worst thing that could have happened to me was to break my back. And it really turned out to be the greatest thing because of the opportunities that I really couldn't see at first that were just around the corner. And I found sports. I was presented with competition. And it mimicked life. I mean, there was so much. There was, there was the contest. And there were rules. And uh, there was the foe that had to be slain. And, of course, you throw it out on the line and you go for it. And, and if you win, you celebrate. And if you lose, you endure. 
But the real message, I believe, it's in the effort. And it's the lessons that you take from other people. And I've got to recognize a few people in the audience. First, Marilyn Hamilton with Quickie Design. She's been my consummate supporter. They've been my manufacturer for the wheelchair that I use in most of the competitions. And she always taught me about optimism. She said, if, tell yourself to be positive. Be positive and you'll begin to believe that. And without belief, what else is there? Um, Judy Einbinder was my coach in 1984. And Judy taught me about periodization. Peak performance. And you know, so many athletes in this world can perform, but Judy said if you'll perform and learn to perform at a specific time, specific place, on a specific date, it'll, well, it'll put you up here. <laughs> and so, and she was exactly right. Peak performance. And of course, Elaine, our relationship, I've learned so much, mostly about atonement and forgiveness, and you are my light. And lastly, my family. You could not do this without family. And my family, I love all of them. They are, they're, most of them are here. We've got a big family. Unconditional love. And they taught me that the heart does not keep a daytimer. It doesn't keep a calendar. I thank you all very much.